All right, here we are in Excel, and I've already got this template set up for the Jark Barra test statistic and p-value. And if you want to use this template, go ahead into the link in the description. Um, there will be a download link to this Excel file. It will have all of the math already done, um, but you can just delete that and follow along, or you can just put in your own data for it. So one thing that we're going to be doing here is we're going to first start over here and slowly work our way to calculating the JB and the p-value. One thing I like to do is sort my data. Now, for the Jark Bear test, you don't have to have it sorted. However, when summing, um, I generally like to have it sorted. Um, I think it makes a little bit more sense if it doesn't matter. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the difference between each value and our mean. I already have the mean calculated here. And then I'm going to F4 to absolute reference that. Then I can just double click and automatically fill down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cube each of those differences. And we're going to, to the third, we use the power function. And then again, double click to drop it down. This time, we will again use the power function to raise that xi minus x bar to the fourth. Enter. Double click to drop down. OK, that was pretty easy. Now we're going to get a little bit more complicated because we're actually going to take a look at skewness and kurtosis. So the first thing we're going to calculate is the skewness because it's a little bit easier. And I have it split up into a numerator and denominator to keep things a little bit easier. And I'm just going to start by dividing those. So skewness equals numerator divided by denominator. And the numerator equals n times the sum of our xi minus x bar cubed. And I want to make sure I start with the first value. Enter. Wonderful. Now our denominator equals n minus 1 times n minus 2 times. And then this one here, we're going to take our standard deviation and cube it. So we'll use the power function. Select our standard deviation and cube that. Awesome, we have our skewness. Let's just double check and see what we get when we compare it to the built-in Excel function. Excellent, excellent. All right, I'm just going to get rid of that to make things cleaner. And now we're ready to move on to kurtosis. So kurtosis, I've split it up into an A and a B, and then A numerator, A denominator, B numerator, B denominator. So the first thing we'll do is we will take A whoops, minus B. Enter. And the first one we're going to work on is A. It's a little bit more complicated, so it'll feel really good once we're done with this. And that's A numerator divided by A denominator. All right, so the A numerator equals, and in parentheses, we're going to put N plus 1 times N times the sum of our XI minus X bar to the fourth column. Enter. All right, and now our denominator for A is n minus 1 times n, oops, n minus 2 times n minus 3 times, and we'll do power standard deviation to the fourth. All right, awesome. So there we have our A calculated. And B is a little bit easier. It's just the numerator here is 3 times n minus 1. But we have to square that. So I'm going to put this into the power function and square it. B denominator equals, and we're going to do n minus 2 times n minus 3. Then we take our B numerator divided by B denominator and enter. And there we have a kurtosis value. Let's check it against the built-in curt function. Enter. Perfect. We get the same value. Awesome. So now we can use our jark Barra test statistic formula, which equals, and I'm going to just put this in parentheses, n divided by 6 times, and then everything in here is going to be in parentheses. We are going to say power skewness squared and then plus 
0.25 times, again, power, our excess kurtosis squared, enter. There's our Jark Barra. Now we're going to plug it in to our associated p-value here, which is a very simple function, equals exp of negative jb over 2. Awesome. Now let's test it against QE Suite and see if we got the correct results. So do that. And then hide our graph. And there we go. We did the Jark Barra test. Incredibly simple. And we can even get simpler if we were to use our skewness and curt functions along with the built in chi squared dist. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.